Hi, I'm Mark Latender and today in VTA, I'll go over the basics of back office navigation in your VTA learning management system, brought to you by RISC. RISC, when compliance matters. In this video, I'll discuss accessing the VTA applications and menu groups, using breadcrumbs, expanding and collapsing sections, viewing inactive records, using the Click Browse tooltips to see detailed information about selected students and courses, using the Date Selector tool, and the system hotkeys. So let's begin with accessing the VTA applications. Once you log in, you'll notice at the top of the screen will be the applications that you have access to. You can access the applications just by clicking on a name between the Evaluator, Utilities, Administrator, Social, and then Back Home. If you're on any system page at any time, you can click the VTA logo in the top left corner and re-access your home page. If by chance your role is limited, you may not see all the applications. For example, this role only allows me to go to Administrator and go to History. If you have questions about your access, you should contact your system administrator. Once you open up an application, you'll notice the menu groups in the colored bar on the left. By clicking on a menu group, it expands to show the options within the menu group, and the previously open one will collapse. This is true of all the applications. The VTA breadcrumb will always be at the top of the screen of the main window you're in. Commonly found in web-based applications, the breadcrumbs identify where you are in VTA. So for example, here I am in Administrator in the Students Grid. If I open up a record, it's going to let me know that I have it open in edit mode. As I navigate to a tab, it lets me know that I'm on the Teams tab. If I change tabs, I now see that I'm in the History tab. If I go and add a record here, it's going to let me know that I am adding a team. And if I choose to not take this action at this time, I could either go back to the Students grid using the option under the Menu group, or I could actually click on the students portion of the breadcrumb to return back to the main grid. Breadcrumb navigation can be helpful, especially when you've taken some time to research and get deep with inside the grid to open up a person's record. And if by chance you happen to be opening up the wrong record, if I start back at the student options, I'm going to be sent to the beginning of the grid. Whereas if I used breadcrumb navigation, I would be returned to the place that I was inside the grid. So instead of being brought back to the beginning, I would be brought back to the record that I had opened. Several areas of the system will allow you to expand and collapse sections. For example, here we see the filter section of a grid is open. If I click it, it will collapse. With the options closed, if I click the down arrow, it'll expand. This is also true on records. I could collapse all the sections of a student record to see the absolute minimum and then expand areas that I'm interested in seeing. Many records in the system will allow you to inactivate a record. If your grid has a filter for active, you would only see active records displayed in black text. I could also choose to see only inactive records displayed in gray. If I remove the active filter, I can see both active and inactive records. You should note that autocomplete fields will only display active values. The Click Browse tooltip will allow you to see more information after you've selected a student or a course. Prior to making a selection, you'll notice the icon will show the No Student Selected option. Once a student is selected, clicking the icon will show you more information to be sure that you've selected the correct student. The same is true for courses. Once a course is selected, clicking its icon will show you more information about the course. Prior to selecting it, you will see no courses selected. Several VTA records and reports will allow you to select a date. This can be done by typing in the date, or you could use the VTA date selector. You'll be able to set the current date, select any date, Click the month at the top to see all months within the year. Or if you select the year, you'll be able to select from any year in the decade. Data grids and records will have their options available on the action bar. You can either click on the button or in many cases use the hotkey. For example, 
I can select Alt A to add a new record. I can use Alt O to click OK, or I can click on Alt W to add the record and add a new one. without ever having to touch the button. Check your online help for the current list of available hotkeys. And those are the basics of back office navigation in your VTA learning management system. Thanks for watching.